Hey everyone, welcome back. This video we are going to be talking about the while loop. Now, just to clarify up front, the while loop can be used to achieve everything that the for loop can achieve. So, there's not real differences. Now, the way you structure it is different, and there's a little bit more flexibility, I'd say, with the while loop, and you'll see why in just a couple of minutes. So let's create a little while loop for you. And let's just start with incrementing. So we're gonna print the values from, let's say, uh, zero to nine or zero to 10 or whatever we wanna do. So it's gonna look like this. And as long as whatever's in these parentheses evaluates to true, it's going to ex execute this uh, code block here. So let's go from zero to nine. So let's say int i equals zero while i is less than 10, print f, and we're gonna print i in here. And then we're going to increment i. And my dog is running <laughs> around in the background, so if you hear um, panting or chewing or anything, it's, it's her. <laughs> and now she's sitting in the corner, she looks she looks bored, but I literally just took her out for a one hour walk, so ah, what, what can you do? Okay, let's run this. Uh, we should probably compile. Okay, cool, so it goes from zero to nine. So this is the exact same thing as the for loop because we have the initialization, we have the comparison, and we have the update. You can clearly see that the update happens at the end, which is one of the things that makes the while loop a little bit clearer. But this also does introduce the possibility for bugs if you happen to put the I++ at the beginning. So for example, if I put the I++ up here, well, you can see that the result is definitely different because the value of I is changed by one before we print the value out. So everything is one higher. So let's just put that back. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. Um, yeah. Hmm, what else? Huh. Hmm. Golly, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's all. One thing is that I like the flexibility of the while loop that you can actually increment wherever you want rather than always doing at the end of the uh, the iteration. So if, if we wanted to do, to do do something like that with the for loop it'd be a little bit more complicated so um, let's just let's just write write something out okay plus plus so you have some flexibility with the for loop because you could always alter this and do do most of the work down here the, the the flexibility is definitely there, but I just think it's it's a little bit easier to see what's going on here and when it's happening. So for example, if I wanted to count by two, I mean, I could do that right here very easily. But let's say I wanted to do one at the beginning and one at the end, I could cut, cut one and, and paste it there. Um, you could definitely do that here too, just I++. Um, so it's still possible. Uh, it just I think it's a little more clear with the while loop what's going down um, But it's ultimately up to you. What do you guys think? Which one do you think is clearer? And it's not so much that one's better than the other. I think that's what people always want. Hey, which one? Which one do I use? But uh, it ultimately comes down to personal preference typically for me what I do is when I have something that I don't know how long it's going to execute I typically use a while loop because I always forget to increment my variables and I, I always put them in the wrong spots or I just do something wrong. So if I have something that's like this, while true, and it's just gonna keep doing this until change to false. And this would be in like some if statement. So if something, gosh, I can't type. If something, then change it to false. Obviously it's not gonna compile, but that's okay. <laughs> This, this makes more visual sense to me than trying to convert this into to values here. So if, it, if it's like an infinite loop that ultimately ends, so if I'm gonna show a menu, for example, where it's like, hey, choose a number one to, to four, 
And if they put it like a some random, like a J or something, then it says, oh, you put the wrong value. Try again. And then it, it displays it again. And it just keeps doing that forever. I would generally use a while loop for that.